Okay, we're we are back. Um, what I'm getting ready to do now is um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like in the pan. Off, it's frying, it's still frying up. Okay, can you see that? That's what's cooking on top of the stove. which that's almost done. Okay, now, what we got here. Now, I'm gonna show you what we get ready to do. We have, uh, this is a uh, tomato paste, a small can. We have, I found these, which I didn't put in the last batch that I did, but this is, uh, these are roasted, um, diced tomatoes, fire diced tomatoes, okay, and if you don't, if you don't find that, get stewed tomatoes, okay, good old corn, okay, kidney beans, one can. This is uh, bouillon cubes. I, I like I like these because low sodium and it's got herbs and spices in it already in in it. And last but not least, we got shells. Okay, macaroni. Now you could use macaroni, elbow macaroni, or whatever one you like to use. Okay, now all it is is this is the bouillon cubes. Okay, and we're going to. What I did was I drained it. This I did not drain. Okay. That's those the to, uh, tomatoes. You got corn. I'm not even going to use the whole can. I only use like Only use about half of that. Okay, a little over half. And last but not least is this tomato paste, which I had a hard time trying to get this can opener to open up. Oh boy, let me. Right, so we got tomato paste, which tomato paste is really thick. I should have got a spoon. Tomato paste is really thick. And 
Okay, so the seasoning that we had all went in there, right? Okay, now the thing is, I'm gonna be cooking mine in a pressure cooker. So usually what the pressure cooker does is it makes, it, it causes steam, it uses steam to cook, okay? Pressure, so it doesn't take that long to cook this. But it also creates water, extra water. So that's why I didn't put too much water in mine. But what you could do is, you know, I would I would fill it up. I would put, you know, a little half of that, a little bit more water if you're gonna cook it in on the stove or you're gonna cook it on the on the um, in a in a uh, crock pot. So how about doing this? You could do maybe what four cans, four 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 or five cans of this. After you, you know, put all your ingredients in the pot, do it that way. Then you want to, um, by taste, after it cooks, then you can see if it needs more salt, more pepper, you know. Um, last but not least, we're going to do this. You don't want too many, just, just one enough. So I, I did about two handfuls. Okay, so the only thing that's left now is to put it in your crock pot or your or whatever you know what you're gonna do it on stove, and you know okay so we got all we got that tomato sauce and everything in there. Now this is the last step. That's that all that meat. So we're just going to take it and gonna put it all in there. Okay. Okay. Good to go. And as you can see, Mix it up, get it incorporated real good. And like I said, you can you can put a little bit more water in there. Um, the noodles will thicken it up as well as you have tomato paste in there, which causes you know helps it to thicken up, be thick as well. But I'm putting mine in the in the uh, pressure cooker, which causes a little bit more water. And I mean it'll be it'll be about that much water added to this, just, just by steaming it. But that's it, that's, that's your bummy stew. Make yourself some cornbread, or if you like rolls, make yourself some rolls, and baby, it's on like popcorn. Enjoy, love y'all, peace out.